Causes of loneliness. Why am I so lonely? Seeking the root causes of isolation. Do you know the hollow ache of loneliness? What drives these feelings of disconnection? Let's examine the core factors behind loneliness. Key causes include lack of belonging, no close relationships or community. This leaves me feeling empty. Social barriers, anxiety prevents engagement. I often hesitate to reach out. Life changes. Disruption of social circles. Moving to a new city intensified my loneliness. Technology use. Replacing interactions with screens. I compulsively scroll through social media. I'm often lonely in a crowd. Understanding the roots helps address loneliness with compassion. Is social media making us lonely? The complex link between tech and isolation. When do you feel most alone? Does technology connect or isolate us? Let's explore social media's role in loneliness. Ways tech can drive loneliness. Replacing real connections with screens. I prioritize my phone over people. Enabling social comparison addiction. I obsess over others' curated lives. Making it easier to withdraw from people. Online entertainment enables my isolation. Reducing meaningful communication. My conversations lack depth. Mindlessly scroll for hours. While tech divides, we can also leverage it to unite. Balance real connections with conscientious tech use. Impact of loneliness. Why loneliness hurts. The mental and physical toll of isolation. Remember feeling crushingly alone? Why the profound pain? Let's examine loneliness health impacts. Loneliness can raise cortisol, impairing sleep and immunity. We often feel wired and run down. Increased dementia and depression risk. My mood is bleak when I'm lonely. Prompt overeating and substance abuse. I cope through comfort eating. Worsen chronic diseases like heart conditions. My doctor says stress impacts my health. I felt the anguish firsthand. Understanding the damage motivates us to connect. When loneliness hits you, capturing the feeling of profound isolation. Remember feeling suddenly, painfully alone? What's the experience of acute loneliness like? Let's evoke the feeling. Loneliness feels hollow, empty, aching for connection. I yearn for someone to talk to. Silent externally, chaotic internally. My mind races though my life looks quiet, overwhelming like chilling waves. Loneliness washes over me when I least expect it. Activities lose meaning without sharing. Eating alone makes me lose my appetite. It's the essence of feeling lost. But I can find my way back by reaching out. Escaping the grip of loneliness. Strategies for coping with isolation. Loneliness overwhelms me daily. What helps? Let's explore ways to manage isolation. Coping strategies include reflecting on root causes. Am I burned out or depressed? Listing social goals and making plans. Join a book club to meet kindred spirits. Joining groups and volunteering. Local politics could use my skills. Adopting pets for companionship. A cat would give me structure and affection. Scheduling social activities. Spending time with friends energizes me. I have compassion for myself. And more than this feeling. Small steps forward add up. How to fight loneliness. Steps for overcoming chronic disconnection. Chronic loneliness is profoundly painful for me. How do I combat isolation? Let's outline strategies. Ways to overcome loneliness. Identify triggers and patterns. Working from home isolates me. Express feelings and challenge negative thoughts. My worth isn't defined by relationships. Practice self-care and develop interests. Cooking classes could be fulfilling. Make social plans and seek professional help if needed. My therapist helps strategize. Loneliness has many sources, so I'll integrate tailored solutions. With compassion and perseverance, I can defy disconnection. Why elderly loneliness matters. Addressing isolation in aging populations. My grandmother expressed intense loneliness. What drives isolation in seniors? Let's examine this pressing issue. Factors include retirement and loss of loved ones. Grandma outlived her friends. Declining health and mobility challenges. Chronic pain prevents her from going out. Lack of access to transportation and community. She can't drive anymore. Effects like depression and dementia show the need for solutions like...
visitation and activities. I'll encourage my family to spend more time with her. Compassion for the lonely benefits us all. Workplace loneliness after COVID. Fostering connections in hybrid settings. Remote work made me feel isolated from colleagues. How can employers help? Let's explore promoting belonging. Solutions involved. Checking on isolated workers. My manager started having regular one-on-ones. Encouraging team bonding and offering flexibility. Virtual happy hours build camaraderie. Providing mental health support. It helps knowing I'm not alone in feeling this way. Organizing in-person events when possible. Looking forward to our upcoming offsite. Loneliness significantly impacts my performance. Cultivating inclusion is ethical and smart business. Escaping the grip of loneliness. Strategies for coping with isolation. Loneliness overwhelms me daily. What helps? Let's explore ways to manage isolation. Coping strategies include reflecting on root causes. Am I burned out or depressed? Listing social goals and making plans. I'll join a book club to meet kindred spirits. Joining groups and volunteering. Local politics could use my skills. Adopting pets for companionship. A cat would give me structure and affection. Scheduling social activities. Spending time with friends energizes me. I have compassion for myself. More than this feeling. Small steps forward add up. How communities can alleviate loneliness. Grassroots approaches to disconnection. Loneliness is an epidemic in my city. What can groups do to ease isolation? Let's brainstorm community-driven solutions. Ideas include support groups for the lonely to share experiences. I'd participate to connect with others. Neighborhood events to cultivate local bonds. Community picnics could unite my block. Communal spaces to interact casually. A free gathering place would help lonely people leave home. Volunteer initiatives to support local causes. I'd contribute time to a community garden. Outreach programs for marginalized residents. Checking on at-risk seniors could be life-saving. We all experience loneliness. When we acknowledge this, we can unite to address it. Through grassroots efforts, communities can cultivate belonging. New tech to reduce loneliness. Innovations for connection. As an introvert, I struggle to make friends. Can technology help combat isolation? Let's explore inventive approaches. Examples include apps matching users based on interests. I could find fellow bookworms in my area. AI chatbots providing companionship. Having someone to chat with online might help. Virtual reality simulating group experiences. I could feel like I'm at a concert or bar. Online mutual support platforms. Connecting with people going through similar challenges could help. While tech can divide, creatively designed solutions leverage it to foster bonds. When used thoughtfully, technology can enter lives. Why loneliness becomes your lover? A seductive pull of isolation. Loneliness draws me in. An alluring siren song. Why does isolation start to feel comforting? Let's examine this dangerous appeal. Reasons include offering relief from rejection. Loneliness protects me from being hurt. Providing control and safety. I don't have to navigate people's unpredictability. Enabling avoidance of fears. Interacting means risking failure. Becoming a familiar routine. Even painful loneliness feels predictable. Sparking self-pity and victimhood. Rationalize wallowing in loneliness. Loneliness seduces us by promising refuge. But its comfort is an illusion. True sanctuary lies in human. But loneliness sounds like playlist. Capturing the auditory experience of isolation. Loneliness has a distinct auditory tone. What does it sound like? Let's curate a soundtrack of isolation. Songs evoking loneliness include Eleanor Rigby by The Beatles. The Lonely People Chorus echoes my sorrow. One by three dog night. The opening harmonies are haunting. Solitude by Billie Holiday. Her voice oozes melancholy. Only the Lonely by Roy Orbison. Minor chords underscore despair. So lonely by the police. Syncopated rhythms reflect restless longing. Music gives language to our silent pain. By listening, we remind ourselves that loneliness is a shared human experience. Why some feel lonelier than... Examining risk factors for isolation. 
feel lonely when surrounded by people? Why do some struggle more? Let's explore loneliness risk factors. Contributors include mental health conditions like anxiety, depression, and PTSD. My anxiety inhibits socializing. Neurological conditions like autism and ADHD. Navigating interactions is challenging for neurodiverse folk. Physical disabilities limiting mobility. My friend's chronic illness prevents her from leaving home. Minority status and discrimination. Systemic marginalization isolates targeted groups. Major life transitions and stressors. My mom was lonely after divorce. With compassionate understanding, we can provide targeted support to populations vulnerable to isolation. Finding belonging as an introvert. Navigating loneliness as a person who gets energy from solitude. As an introvert, I cherish solo time, yet still feel lonely. How do I balance my needs? Let's explore belonging for introverts. Strategies include having a few deep friendships versus many shallow ones. My close pals energize me. Seeking community around passions. Weekly hikes with nature lovers feed my soul. Limiting large group activities. Crowds drain my battery. Taking alone time to recharge. Reading novels in cozy cafes restores me. Communicating my needs. My friends know I may leave early. The most effective connections nurture my spirit. By honoring my nature, I can have enriching relationships without compromising who I am. How families and friends can help the lonely. Supporting loved ones in isolation. My sister is extremely lonely but pushes people away. How can loved ones provide support? Let's explore helping the lonely. Strategies include reaching out persistently but gently. I regularly text my sister warm greetings. Suggesting professional help. I recently gave my sister a therapist's number. Offering practical assistance. I helped my sister join a gym to get out of the house. Being present without judgment. I listen to my sister vent about her pain. Encouraging social interaction. I invite my sister on walks with me. With compassion and patience, loved ones can help the lonely take steps to reconnect. Small gestures of kindness make a difference. What loneliness does to your brain. The neurological impacts of isolation. Loneliness hijacks my mind. How does it affect the brain? Let's examine the neurological impacts. Isolation can diminish executive function, impairing focus and memory. I constantly misplace things now. Shrink gray matter responsible for emotional regulation, prone to outbursts. Disrupt sleep patterns, increasing stress hormones. I lie awake wired and restless. Reduce cognitive resilience. My mind feels foggy and inactive. Trigger depression through lowered serotonin. Motivation and joy elude me. Loneliness physiologically alters the brain. Seeking connection can spark renewed neural health. How chronic loneliness impacts mental health. Psychological effects of ongoing isolation. Prolonged loneliness is my normal. How does chronic isolation affect mental health? Let's explore the psychological toll. Effects include heightened social anxiety and loss of confidence. I constantly second-guess myself around people. Increased negativity and self-criticism. I attack my perceived flaws and inadequacies. Paranoia and distrust of others' motives. I project rejection onto benign interactions. Difficulty experiencing joy and expressing emotions. My inner life feels muted and bleak. Vulnerability to stress, depression, and substance abuse. I drink to self-medicate my despair. Recognizing the symptoms motivates me to seek solutions before loneliness calcifies my thought patterns. There are paths back to emotional vibrance when loneliness becomes chronic. Navigating prolonged and ongoing isolation. Loneliness has persisted for years now. How do people cope with chronic isolation? Let's explore living with ongoing solitude. Navigating chronic loneliness involves accepting it as an ongoing companion. Loneliness is a part of my reality right now. Finding meaning and purpose beyond relationships. My work in the arts brings me joy. Investing time in solo activities. Long walks rejuvenate me. Setting small social goals. I'll ask a co-worker to lunch. Remembering connection fluctuates. I won't always feel this alone. Lonely seasons last. Focusing on self-care helps me survive them with hope and wisdom intact. Why loneliness can feel impossible to escape. The spiraling effects of isolation. Loneliness has dominated my life for years. 
Why does it feel inescapable? Let's examine this. Factors include eroded self-esteem makes me feel unworthy of love. I don't believe anyone would want me. Lack of social practice amplifies anxiety around others. Simply interacting feels terrifying. Anhedonia and depression sap motivation. Taking steps to connect feels impossibly hard. Internalized stigma and shame. I'm convinced my loneliness defines me as defective. Comfortable misery. Painful as it is, loneliness still offers a familiar refuge. With compassionate understanding of the spiraling effects, I can gradually nurture my hope that I still deserve connection. Coping with loneliness. During the holidays, navigating isolation. When everyone seems merry, the holiday me further. How can I cope when everyone seems connected? Let's explore loneliness during celebratory seasons. Coping strategies involve volunteering to help others. Serving meals at a shelter reminds me I'm not alone. Starting new traditions focused on self-care. A meditative forest walk could be restorative. Scheduling video calls with distant loved ones. Hearing friendly voices is comforting. Allowing myself to grieve what I've lost. The sadness helps me process my emotions. Making social plans in advance. Having events on my calendar motivates me. With compassion for myself, I can take small steps to honor my feelings, while also defiantly nurturing community. Combating loneliness as an empty nester. Reimagining connection after kids leave home. The silence since my last child moved out is deafening. How do empty nesters combat loneliness? Let's brainstorm. Strategies include scheduling one-on-one -on -one time with kids. A weekly call nourishes our bond. Traveling to visit far-flung friends and family. Catching up in person feeds my soul. Volunteering in my community. Mentoring youth helps me feel purposeful. Adopting a pet to care for. My new pup's affection lifts my... Joining groups related to my interests. The hiking club connects me to nature lovers. This transition invites me to rediscover myself. By reaching out, I can transform loneliness into an empowering new...